Hi, we're here in Amsterdam at Go Data Driven. Thanks for inviting me over here. Yeah, welcome. I'm here with Rodrigo Agundes. Maybe you can give a short introduction about yourself. Yeah, uh, I work as a data scientist uh, for Go Data Driven, mm -hmm. and I'm uh, completely involved in uh, deep learning, and uh, I see a lot of future for it. And you're an expert in deep learning, and what many people ask themselves is what's the difference between machine learning and deep learning? Yeah, so machine deep learning is a, a sort of algorithms that are involved in machine learning, but the traditional machine learning is they use algorithms which uh, you need to define the features that your models are going to use. But for unstructured data, sometimes that's a bit difficult to do. So for images or for comments or text, uh, and deep learning is able to, by itself, learn what are actually the important features of it and then perform the, uh, the task that is assigned to do. And why is deep learning so important then? Yeah, because it can deal with this sort of unstructured data that, that, uh, that has to do with sort of human interaction that now I think consumers want from their devices. You want them to be able to understand you when you talk to them. Uh, so that's impossible to do uh, with any other type of algorithm. Uh, you want them to, uh, to be able to respond as a human like. And um, it's so important for, for many of the uh, of the topics, let's say, for medicine also, how to interpret MRI and have diagnosis, for example. Um, and in general, uh, the use of the data, which is on structure, uh, you can completely leverage it, which is type of algorithms of deep learning. And you were talking about the human-like interaction. How can deep learning really change the customer experience? Yeah, so there are already, since decades ago, let's say, speech recognition or image recognition techniques. But the user experience changes because it uh, brings the accuracy of your models uh, to a level where the customer can actually interact with them and not be uh, having a lot of errors with them. So then they will be content with the actual interaction that their device is giving to them. And you can only achieve these levels of accuracies uh, with deep learning models. And that means that the experience that people have goes from an accuracy from maybe 50 or 60 percent to 95, 98 percent. Indeed, even even if they will go from 95 percent to 98 percent, some some uh, some of the let's say applications that you see even in your phone, they leverage already 90 percent accuracy from other type of algorithms since years ago, but they cannot be uh, thrown into the customer because a customer does not want uh, 10 errors in 100. But once you get to that 98 percent, then you have a product which is sellable to your customers. And why should other experts or experts wannabes also get involved in deep learning? You're organizing a hackathon, so what do you advise to them? Yeah, so get involved in these, uh, in these hackathons, you know. Um, uh, in, in general, the AI community is very open and deep learning is, is not an exception. So the hackathon, for example, that we're organizing uses data from uh, MRI scans from the heart. And the idea is that deep learning models will be used in order, let's say, to detect certain characteristics of, of, uh, of those MRIs, which then uh, they can be leveraged to use for diagnosis or to see if a patient needs a pacemaker or not, for example. So this isn't a particular for a hackathon that we have, but in general, there are many, many things that you can find online available to you because this is the future. Definitely. Thanks yeah. a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share and get notifications of my new video.